Salafi. Salafi. Believe me, I love all. I love all my Muslim brothers. I am not here to hurt anyone's feeling. Therefore, I said, Tala vila kalmitin sawa im bainana bainakum. Come to come in terms as between us and you. I am coming to come in terms. I respect Abu Hanifa, Imam Abu Hanifa, Imam Ahmad Hanbal, Imam Malik, Imam Shafi. I respect the great scholars of this. I respect the Salafi Salim. I follow them. Alhamdulillah. Therefore, first the Muslim, last the Muslim. Now, one of the second reasons for the disunity is which organization you belong to. Organization. Ah, I belong to Jamaat Islami. I belong to Tablik Jamaat. Ikhwani. So these organizations, what happens? These ah, see, if you follow Quran and Sunnah, but if you don't belong to my organization, I'm not with you. See, making organization is not wrong in Islam. Giving name to an organization, Jamaat Islami, Jamiyat Ahl Hadith, no problem. Giving any name, Jamiyat Ahl Hadith, Jamaat Islami, or center named after Sheikh uh, uh, Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah, any no problem. But if that organization is following Quran and Sunnah, according to Salaf al Salih. It's the right organization, otherwise it is wrong. Give it any name. After Hazrat Umar, may Allah be pleased with him. After Hazrat Abu Bakr, may Allah be pleased with him. After Ibn Taymiyyah, Allah be pleased with him. After Abu Hanifa, may Allah's mercy be on him. No problem. No problem. If that organization is following Quran and Sahih Hadith, as understood by the Salafi Salihin, it's the right organization. If it is not, reject the organization, whether its name is belonging to anyone, whether it's after Ibn Taymiyyah, or whether it is Salafi, whether Ahli Hadith, if we follow Quran and say Hadith according to the understanding of the Salafi Salihin, it is the right organization. So forming organization is not wrong in Islam. Because like we are specialized in Dawah. Some people are specialized in Islam. Some people are specialized in science. No problem. But what happens if there are two organizations doing Dawah? Two organizations. Both are following Quran and Sunnah. But he does not belong to my organization, so I'm against him. I start giving fatwa. What fatwa? That person is a kafir. Takfir. Direct. Don't go to that organization. You know, people said, don't come to the peace exhibition. You know, but the Zakir told me, people are telling, don't come to peace exhibition. Why? Because peace exhibition is not organized by me. If it was organized by me, then it is good. If it's organized by the Jamaat I belong to, it is a good exhibition. If it is not organized by my Jamaat, it's not a good organization. It's not a good exhibition. Why? We have to see Allah and His Rasul. If that organization, if that exhibition is following Quran and Sahih Hadith, according to the understanding of the Salafi Salih, it is the right organization. There's no problem. So making organization is no problem. As long as the organization is on the Quran and Sahih Hadith. So if you want to join any organization, verify for yourself whether the organization, the Quran and Sahih Hadith, if there's a difference in the Hadith and Quran understanding, as per the understanding of the Salaf Salin, the pious predecessors, the three generations, finished. Answer is easy. But people give fatwa. Takfir. We'll come to takfir later on. And according to, according to the Hadith of Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Hadith of Sayyid Bukhari, volume number 8, Hadith number 637. The Prophet said, any Muslim who says kafir to another Muslim, it comes back to him. Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, it's mentioned in Sayyid Bukhari, volume number 8, Hadith number 6103, that anyone, any Muslim tells to another Muslim, he's a kafir, he kills him. Now, based on this, the scholars, they said, great scholars, they said that you should not do takfir. Takfir means calling another Muslim, another believer a kafir. And there are various fatwas of these hadith that according to Hafiz ibn Hajar, he said that what the hadith of Sayyid Bukhari says that if you call a Muslim a kafir, it comes back to you. That means the kuf comes back to you and you become a kafir. Sheikh Shaukhani, he said that do not call another believer a kafir 
until the proofs, the Burhan, are as clear as the daytime of the sun. Unless it's clear to you that he's a pakka kafir. Proof. See if you, it's not far to call a kafir a kafir. It's not far. Even if the Muslim may be a kafir, why are giving a fatwa? Takfir. One man calling another kafir outside the fold. So the various fatwas describing it is wrong. Now, as I mentioned, as far as calling the word Salafi, there are two groups of scholars. One group of scholars said it is Fard. And I give you an example of Sheikh Nasrud al Albani. I want to even let you know that Sheikh Saleh Fawzan, who I respect, he is the scholar of the present time, even he says calling Salafi is a Fard. To a lesser extent, not very staunch, is Sheikh bin Baz. He says, fine, to identify yourself, no problem. But there are other group of scholars who say calling Salafi is wrong. Scholars who believe in Quran, Hadith, and Salafi Salihin. First, I will quote you the person who is respected the most amongst the Salafis of the present time, Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah. There is a book called The Call to Islam and the Caller, in which 40 Hadiths are mentioned. The 40th Hadith the last hadith is a hadith in which it is mentioned. It's hadith of Tirmidhi, hadith number 2600. There it is said that Allah's messenger, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that I have been instructed with five things which I am instructing to you. First is jama. First is jama. Jama means following the three generations. The Salaf is following. Second is obeying. Third is hearing. Fourth is hijra. And fifth is jihad in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. First is jama, following salaf is holy. Second is hearing. Third is obeying. Fourth is hijra. Fifth is jihad in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Five things. And anyone who goes away by a span's difference from the jama, he has thrown the yoke of Islam off his neck. And anyone who calls to anyone besides Allah, he is inviting you to the abode of hellfire. Hadith, classified as Sahih. Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah says, after this Hadith, in this book, that one of the Salaf, the pious predecessor, he said, that I don't know on which of the two things should I thank Allah more for bringing me to Islam or for keeping me away from the innovators. One of the Salaf, he quotes, and he says, I don't know which of the two things should I thank Allah more, for bringing me Islam, for me becoming a Muslim, or for keeping me away from the innovators. You should call yourself only, even in the previous hadith of Tirmidhi, it ends by saying, if you call anything besides the way of the Allah, what Allah has called you, and he says, Muslim, Mu'min and Abdullah. A Muslim, a believer, and the worship of Allah. If you call anything besides these three things to yourself, you're calling yourself to hellfire. Hadith. This Salaf, Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah quotes, that if you call anything, I don't know which thing should I thank more for Allah, for bringing me Islam, or for keeping me away from the innovators. You cannot call anything besides what Allah has called you in the Quran. Muslim, Mumin and Abdullah, Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah. So how can you quote saying Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah says you should call yourself Salafi? What Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah says, you have to follow the Salafi Salafi in which even I say. Sheikh Ibn Taymiyyah never said call yourself Salafi. I'm quoting you another scholar, Sheikh Utaymi. Now see, all these scholars are stalwarts of the present time. All three expired now. Sheikh Nasrud al-Bani, Sheikh Bin Baz, Sheikh Utaymi. In the book of